Hi there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I have card number five for you for my Encouraging Card series. And if you have followed along with me at all, you know that my goal is to make at least one Encouraging Card a week and then send that card to someone I know who needs encouragement. So I am going to start off using a Hero Arts Goldfish set. It's a layering set. And so I have put some Nina cardstock into my Mini Misty and I am going to use some Stampin' Up! Crushed Curry ink to stamp out the first layer of the goldfish image. And it comes out pretty nicely so I don't stamp them again. And then I grab the little seaweed images from that set and I'm going to use some Stampin' Up! Regal Rose ink to stamp those. And I have no idea if these Stampin' Up! inks are still available. I just have them in my stash so that's what I'm using. For the second layer of the goldfish, I plan to do some embossing, so I want to make sure that that embossing powder doesn't stick to the image that I've just stamped. So I'm just going to run some embossing powder over the top of it. Turns out it was still pretty wet, or at least sticky, and so that entire image would have been covered with embossing powder. So that's a good little trick you can learn to make sure that you don't have embossing powder where you don't want it. So I cover that with my anti-static powder tool again just to make sure, and turns out this time it worked out really well. So now I'm all set to stamp the second image, or the second layer of this image. And so I line it up, and you're going to see me pull it off screen. And there's a reason for that. Uh, I actually am crafting in my Turby Twist. Yes, my Turby Twist. So I uh, will occasionally pull my images off camera just to make sure they're aligned right, because you don't want to see my head covered in a Turby Twist. And so that image has now been stamped with Versamark ink to make sure that's good and covered. And then I will cover that with that ultra fine gold embossing powder by Sun and Says Stamp. And then I will heat that with my heat tool. I had a friend suggest that I actually craft with the camera in front of me from time to time. But yes, folks, that's why I don't do that because oftentimes I'm in a robe or I have a turby twist in my hair. All right, so now on to the next part. I want to stamp his face, and uh, so I decide to grab out some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, and once again, we're off screen, and then I just stamped his face down. I didn't end up wanting to use the seaweed that I had originally stamped out, so I'm going to stamp these with some VersaMark ink, which is the sticky ink for embossing, and I am going to use this Wow Embossing Powder um, called Coral Reef. I thought it was really pretty. It went with the color challenge because this card is actually made for the color throwdown challenge number 500. I am barely going to be getting this card in in time because uh, I think that it closes on oh, today, the day I'm posting this. So those are the reasons for the colors that I've chosen. And then I'll just heat those. And this embossing powder is really nice because it has a, a glittery finish to it as well. So I thought that would be a nice touch for the seaweed. So for the next step of this card, I am going to use some low-tack tape, in this case micropore tape, and I am going to tack down all of the dies for the different images. And I have one for the goldfish, and then the three different seaweed pieces. And I'm going to run those through my Big Shot off-screen. I also took this opportunity to take a piece of navy cardstock and run that through with an embossing folder. Now I want to splatter that panel with some gold paint, so I grab my Gonzai Tombi Starry Colors, and I just start splattering one of the golds all over that piece of cardstock. For my sentiment, I grab a scrap of the Nina cardstock, along with the sentiment that I've chosen, which says, Just Keep Swimming. I think that seems quite encouraging. And I stamp that originally with some Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. I wasn't sure what color I was going for or what I wanted it to look like exactly. So I stamp it out with the black first. And then I clean off my stamp, well, stamp it out twice, make sure it's good and crisp. And then I clean it off really, really well. I am going to stamp it just above there, but I want to emboss it in gold to kind of go along with the rest of the gold theme that I've been using. So I grab my Versamark ink, and then I stamp the sentiment one more time. And then I'm going to cover that with that same ultrafine gold embossing powder that I've been using. And then I'm going to heat set that and I'll decide from there which of those sentiments I think would look better on my card. And it's at this point I'm thinking probably the gold. So I'm using my Fiskars trimmer and I like this trimmer because it does have a wire piece that goes right down the center so you know exactly where you're going to be cutting. 
And so I'm just lining that up on the bottom using that wire as a guide. And then this is where I kind of take a look at which one would look better and I know it's, it's the gold. So I trim off that edge and I shouldn't have done it freehand because this time it just didn't work out. It wasn't very, uh, it wasn't very straight. So I line that up in my trimmer and just trim off that last little, little edge. So now it's time to start assembling the card. And I'm just kind of positioning the different pieces, deciding where I want everything to go. Because the color throwdown challenge colors were navy, a light pink, and like a gold color. This is why I chose this color palette. And so once I'm kind of happy with where the placement of those different images are, I'm going to pull out some liquid glue. And I'm going to use the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue because that background is quite textured. And in order for these pieces to stick really well, I think that this craft tacky glue will work the best. And so I'm going to set those down and then use a couple of acrylic blocks to set those on top. And I'm going to set those aside for a couple of minutes. For my card base, I have a piece of navy cardstock that is four to quarter by 11 inches and I'm going to score that at five and a half inches to make it a top folding A2 size card. Um, I like the dark because the other day I was writing out a card and I was using a white gel pen and I'm telling you, I love the look. So I don't know, maybe I want to kick or I'll just kind of jazz it up from time to time by using dark card stocks like that. I'm using that craft tacky glue once again to adhere my panel down to the front of my card base. And the reason I'm doing that instead of all the foam tape, which I did use on my sentiment and I'm also using on my goldfish, I'm just I'm running low. And so uh, I've got to be a little bit sparing as to where I use my, my foam tape. And so once I've got all those pieces adhered, that's going to finish off the card. So if you like today's card, hit the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And as always, thanks for stopping by.